Can I have a kiss? Charles? Wow, that is some sky. My hair's insane. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Theo and I, I just landed in Houston, by the way, for the weekend. We were thinking we were gonna surprise my brother while he does stand up, but it turned out a lot differently because my mom has a big mouth and my mother is CNN. <laughs> and she announced that I was coming, which I don't even know how she knew. So, I was coming to watch my brother do stand-up, but because he's so secretive, he didn't tell me the time, and it was the time that I'm landing, so we may have missed it. So he's got gray you. hair. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, is it not there? I think it's here. He's gotta be next to the bar, that's... Yeah, maybe he hasn't gone up, or maybe he went up and left. But does, he, does he know I would come here? Does he know you're picking me up at two? like so country right now. No, that's not him. <laughs> I don't know, when I left it was still asleep. Oh really? Today? Is that it girl? Why do you think that's her? I saw her picture on Facebook. Are you looking at Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, let's ask her. Maybe he isn't here yet. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe he's late, like. He's so late. Maybe he'll get here and we're here waiting for him. Theo and I have not found my brother. We literally think that like he's late. He's late. Or we missed it. But I'm I'm banking on late, right? Yeah, because that's like how we roll. Um, but we need to find someone that knows. Oh, there goes Esther. Esther. She knows about David. Oh, okay. Can we see you? Hi, how are you? Good to see you. All right, welcome. I'm glad you could come. I'm Marlene. I'm Danny's sister. Hey, Marlene. Hey. Nice to meet you. Um, is Danny here? Oh, he is not here yet. I told him to come about 4:30, between 4:30 and 5. Oh. Ellie. We just heard one. Um, what is this? So this is Best Fest. So every year our company does a fundraiser for the PTSD Foundation of America for Camp Hope. And Camp Hope is a facility in Houston that houses veterans who have PTSD. A veteran commits suicide every 65 minutes. So one veteran a day is too many. And so Camp Hope has been helping with that. And since their inception, out of everyone who's gone through the program, they haven't had one veteran that has committed suicide. Really? Yeah. Wow, how many years have you been doing this? So we've been doing this now for about four years. The last year we did this, we raised a little over $11,000 for them. And then this year we're trying to raise $30,000. Guys, I'm going to show you what it looks like. There's tons of people here. I didn't There's know what coming. I was coming to. I just thought, like my brother barely told me. I heard him mention it on Periscope and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to call. I didn't know until you text me. You text me. I'm like, what is she talking about? He's so secretive. He didn't tell us No, I feel no. like he didn't tell you because no. I've been asking that. I asked him to do this like two months ago. We're getting a little tour. So this is uh, the gift baskets that each team put together. They each have a different theme. So this one is a Texas theme. Oh, that's nice. What's this? Ice chest. Oh, beautiful. Made from wood with bullets instead of nails. Made by uh, one of my co-worker's boyfriends. That's incredible. That's so nice. Yeah, he made it. Alabama Ice House, we do this here every year. You do? Yeah, because they're kid friendly and dog friendly. So we want everyone to be able to bring whoever they want. Including dogs yes. and kids! Yes! We almost didn't come because we, were we thought we were late because my plane landed at two. No way! I'm like, we gotta try. Like, nothing starts on time. <laughs> There is dogs here, that's so cute. That's a big dog. Oh my god, so cute. He called you? Yeah. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go outside. Okay. I'm gonna tell them I'm What if he's calling you to tell you 
like to invite you. I would be like, oh, well, I don't know if I can make it because I'm far out. Wait, do you think he'll be sad if you can't come? No. Or do you think he'll be like, oh, good, no one's coming? I think he'll be like, good, no one's coming. Okay. His plan is to come and then go straight to work. When we do this, should we hide when we think he's here yeah. and then watch him and then like afterwards be like great job? Yeah, so he's that not was nervous. my plan. <laughs> okay, that's what we'll do. So right now, you need to call him and tell him you're still yeah, doing inspections. So let's go. But if he starts let's driving go. down the street to get here on time, he's gonna see his <laughs> big, sister. Big red I think we've been, we've been pretty noticeable in there so far with this goddamn camera, my red <laughs> lipstick, and your fancy ass gray hair. It's not answering. He's no hiding. He's going. that I texted you this morning? No, did you text me? I texted you like, are you still coming to get me like I'm on the plane? He knows, he knows. And I didn't want it. I was like, what are the chances? Oh. Like he's gonna have your phone. Did I text you something from this phone? Oh, I texted the event I said too. And then I was like, oh, I'll text this number. Shoot, this is a plan gone all wrong. Well then now we have to hide! We have to hide, like... Well now we don't have to hide, because he knows. It's over there. You see that orange no. thing? Where? Oh, that black car? Yeah, so what should we do? How freaking suspicious do I look around the corner with my phone? Did you see him yet? Did Jamie find y'all? No. He's, he knows y'all are here. He does? He knows y'all are here. And how did he know? know? He just knew. He said, uh, he, oh, there he is right there. He said he thought that y'all didn't know where he was, but he said he heard the motorcycles in the background and he knew where y'all were. Why are we laughing? <laughs> Yeah, he knows y'all are here. I here he comes. Him. He's a little nervous, so yeah, yeah. I can feel good. Hi, Boogie! How you doing? <laughs> jokes. Okay, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't hinder him. It's very special at this moment. This is my good friend. His name is Danny O'Brien, and he's been kind enough to donate some of his comedic time for the veterans today. So everybody give Danny O'Brien a big hand! There's two things you automatically know about my name. Danny O'Brien. I'm Irish, of course. I'm an alcoholic. This is breakfast right here. <laughs> How about Harvey, guys? Hope everybody's okay. Anybody take on any water here or anything like that? Yeah, I took on three feet of water. I live in Meyerland, so I actually swam here. That's how we locate everywhere. We kind of just jump in and get going. But I woke up that morning, three and a half feet of water, opened my door, see a guy paddle boarding. We got a lakefront property all of a sudden. <laughs> the worst thing though I have to say was traffic after this storm. We already have bad traffic. Why do they call 4545? That's the max speed anybody's ever done on a 45. Is 45. <laughs> Why do they call it 290? Because it takes 290 minutes to get from the end of 290 to the Galleria. I mean, come on, people. That's why they name these things these things. 
after Harvey, man, the traffic was really bad. I mean, everybody says, are you a survivor or a refugee? A refugee is if you got water in your house and you had to evacuate. A survivor is if you had to deal with the traffic here. As soon as there's a flood, everybody gets out on the road and decides, hey, I'm gonna go drive. <laughs> I wrote some notes down so I could bring some jokes. Um, unfortunately, this is my math homework. <laughs> Oh man, well my math test is going to be hilarious, <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to pass. Anybody here named Harvey before I say anything bad about Harvey? Okay, if you have the name Harvey, it's been a hard time for you right now. Harvey the Flood, Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> I mean, Harvey as a name right now, if you have a friend named Harvey and you don't like him, you have every right to punch him for the next like 30 days. But what is up with all these sex allegations lately? Harvey, Harvey Weinstein, even Bush, right? Louis C.K. The latest one I heard was uh, Ramsey. You guys know Ramsey, Gordon Ramsey? Yeah. Yeah, so apparently uh, from 1998, a carrot came out against him and said he was uh, molested during making a cake. <laughs> Ramsey came out and says, I don't remember the incident, but I apologize. I know I should have made a fruitcake. <laughs> I got my Astros lanyard on. Most people say, hey, are you an Astros fan? I just want to mention the good vibes that were here after the Astros won. I mean, it was amazing to see people just recoup after the Astros won that World Series. It's definitely something our city needed. I mean, traffic after we won the World Series was so easy to get through. People would cut you off and you would just be like, go Astros! And the guy behind you would be like, yeah, go Astros! I saw a guy got hit by a car. The guy yelled at me, you okay? He's no strokes, no strokes, no. Yes. I walked to the hospital. Everybody was in a good mood. You could have got shot and just walked it off after the Astros won. Everybody was in a great mood. I mean, it was, it was exactly what we needed. Thank you, guys. standing right here. Yeah, me too. You could have moved out in front if you wanted. But I don't know if the mic went that far. Oh, He's the only one to follow through. Really? Aww. Aww. She heard everything. She was dying. She was dying. Bye. Thank you so much. He thinks he lost his key, but I found it. Bye, Esther. He thinks he lost his key. So good to see you, Sino. Bye. Thank you so much. So much. Awfully quiet in there. <laughs> what are you guys doing so creepy in the dark? Ooh. Hi, Venus! Hi! Hi, Hi, Diesel! So cute! Look at mommy! Look at Daddy! Look at you guys with fresh flowers!